The Nash Paint headquarters in Granite Harare caught fire and destroyed property estimated worth 1.3 million US dollars. Tinashe Mutarisi took to Facebook to share the devastating news and give thanks to Zimbabwe Fire Brigade for their efforts to extinguish the fire. Though the causative agent of the fire is unknown, the public was quick to blame it on the political vouchers ZANU PF as they failed to indigenize his company. The notion was set in motion by a post that Mr. Mutarisi had made in regards to ZANU PF members wanting a share in his business which he declined to offer and they threatened him due to that. People sent in words of comfort to him in these trying times and we would like to wish him and his staff a speedy recovery from this horror. Speaking of wishes, people wished a happy birthday to Ezekiel Guti, founder of Uzayoja Ministries, and Passion Java took the opportunity to chase clouds by sharing a prophecy about the death of Guti. He took to Facebook to share the sad news and with reason, people ridiculed him for sharing such obvious information, considering that Guti was already a centurion. Japreza recently released the visuals to his lead single to the Chirere Mera traditional music themed album Sarungano featuring Felinandi. The video came under scrutiny with the Winky D fans comparing the video to Happy Again. But avid Japreza fans say that it's the other way round and gave reference to the similarities between Jerusalem and Happy Again. Speaking of Winky D, he turned heads at King Fisher Park with his energetic performances and above all, his shoes. He was spotted wearing Balmain Unicorn sneakers valued at an estimate of 1,500 to 2,300 at the local retail market as they go for 1,248 bucks online. You think that is dope? He's just flexing. He recently won an Iroma Award for the Best African Dancer Artist against Top X. I'm talking about Rental Party Ranking, Shatawale, Stone Boy, Need I Say More? The event was held in Kingston, Jamaica. Speaking of globetrotting, Shasha was spotted in Australia for her I Am Alive tour which featured the Holy Ten. The two took snaps while there and shared the experience with the globe. And it seems like it's not the end of the road for the two as Shasha will be heading to Portugal for the Afro Nation Festival from the 28th to the 29th of June this year. She will be performing alongside Burner Boy and Wizkid. She will come back home for the Zimfest on the 29th of July this year. Holy Ten is not easily available as he will be performing in Cape Town tomorrow and he will be home on the 19th in Zushawane before driving to Bulawayo on the 20th. Well, it feels so good to see local artists getting the recognition that they deserve. Speaking of recognition, the PPC Zima Awards recently announced their list of nominees which were very refreshing but we couldn't help but wonder about the ones which were nominated without profiles. How is it that they were nominated without pictures of them and how do they expect people to vote for them when most of the event organizers don't even know them? Regardless, we are encouraging you to vote for your favorites and tune in for the event on the 3rd of June this year. Speaking of awards, during the Metro FM Awards, we saw Cairo walk away with four awards out of six nominations on behalf of her late father, aka beating his rival KO, who walked away with nothing after receiving seven nominations. So. Nadia Nakai trended for said reasons over the weekend, gaining over 50k responses in the tweet. She expressed her hate towards love, citing that love or aka cannot be replaced. Many of her fans comforted her, whilst others decided to add salt to the wounds. This is not the first time Nadia Nakai broke down. Whilst in an interview with Privida magazine, she received a call from her mom, who gave her words of encouragement and support while she was healing with aka's death. Whether she is using his death to promote Privida or her upcoming reality show, Young, Famous and African, we are all watching and praying that she'll find peace in all this chaos. 
She's batshit crazy, so I think you need to trade carefully. Speaking of chaos, Makazi is now under fire from Open My Productions for breach of contract. According to the label, Makazi has signed an auto renewal contract, meaning she will work for them until they dismiss her, which is basically never. The sad news did not sit well with Makazi, who took to Twitter to express her distress, and neither did it sit well with her fans, who rebelled against Open Mic and reported the visualizer to Haina Balance by Prince Beza, Makazi, and Mialum Vector, which had received 100k views in 8 days, which led to it being taken out of YouTube. But the move backfired as Open Mic did the same to Makazi to her song Niazwifa, which had received 100k views in 12 hours, and Makazi cried once more on Twitter. Fortunately, former Secretary General of Economic Freedom Fighters political party Goodrich Gadi has offered to fight for Makazi's freedom via his his Gadi Goodrich attorney's law firm. In the meantime, Makazi had requested her bookings to be done via her record label, Makazi Entertainment. Hey, do, do you still want to say something to, to open mic? You know, just to make your clear things. Don't touch me. No, Tuani. 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 Tuani.